ASPCA Right Horse Program encourages animal lovers nationwide to consider equine adoption. Christy Schulte Cappert is here to share more. Hi Christy, so what's the background on horse adoption? Is it similar to dog and cat adoption? In a lot of ways it really is. You're bringing a new animal into your life and you're giving a home to an animal who previously didn't have one. So obviously there are some differences, of course, in taking care of a horse versus a dog or cat. You can't generally bring them in your house, but um, in uh, all of the more meaningful ways, it's really very similar. Again, it's these animals that have kind of been between homes for one reason or another, and they're looking for their very right place to land. So that's um, some really great positive parallels. Okay, that sounds wonderful. And what sorts of horses are available for adoption? That's one of really the beautiful things about adoption is you can find any kind of horse at any time. It really just depends. A lot it can be on your region. So what types or breeds of horses are very common in the part of the country where you live. Um, you can find horses of all breeds. We have adoption partners who specialize in certain types of breeds of horses, but many who take all breeds or even other equines. So miniature horses, donkeys, mules, ponies, any kind of equine. Um, and there's also a huge range as far as ages. So young horses all the way up to senior horses, horses who may have had a past career, as a racehorse or a competitive horse or um, even a working horse and are looking for something a little bit more low key or those young horses that are ready to go into a new career. So um, it's really as broad as the entire spectrum of horses that are out there. They can all um, be in need of a home for one reason or another and can you can find them through adoption. Man, I think that's so cool. So tell us, how can someone adopt a horse? Yeah, the first step is to just really start thinking about what are your dreams and your desires and abilities? And kind of start to gather your thoughts about what those things are. And we, of course, would always suggest folks do that by um, browsing on our adoption website, myrighthorse.org. That can kind of give people an idea for what kind of horses are out there. Um, and then simply just start reaching out. So the beauty is that there are many adoption groups all across the country, and they all are, um, have a slightly different process, but they'll work with adopters to figure out, again, what is it that you really want to do or can do or have dreams about doing with your horse or equine um, and start working through that process. And there may be some things that you're not quite ready for yet. And we always encourage adopters not to be too intimidated by if you don't know maybe exactly where you're going to keep the horse or you have some questions about you know what you might need to do to take care. That doesn't need to, um, delay somebody, uh, a lot of these adoption groups will help you figure that out along the way. And just really briefly, any advice for beginners looking to get involved with horse adoption? Just get in and try something, try to start in some way. A lot of these groups have volunteer programs that are wonderful for learning the ropes about how to take care of horses. And there's always a place and a role for people to play no matter what their level of experience is. Wonderful, Christy, thank you so much for all the info. We appreciate it. Thank you so much.